Hey everyone, this is Ben, and I want to thank you all for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel today. Uh, we finally got a break from all this rain, and uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Well, actually, it's going to be a great day. You know why it's going to be a great day? Because we are on an electric bike, and the popularity of electric bikes has exploded. And there are many different companies out there. This electric bike is stout. It could handle all the rigors of everyday use plus a little bit of off-road because what it has on there, and we're gonna cover that in a little bit. And before we start today's video, I wanna thank the folks over at Magnum Bicycles for sending the Magnum Nomad uh, to me for review and testing. So I can tell you right off the bat, this is gonna be a fun video. So let's go check out the bicycle a little bit more in depth and uh, let's do it. Now the mission of Magnum Bike was to create and distribute high quality yet affordable electric bikes giving people of all ages and fitness levels uh, the equal opportunity to access uh, to the wonderful experience of electric biking. Now electric bikes are changing the way people get around. Riders in the Magnum community use their electric bikes for a variety of purposes from long weekend rides and epic adventures to commuting, running errands, and even as a car replacement. Unlike many of their competitors, Magnum electric bikes were designed and engineered and built from the ground up. Uh, they create their own molds and carefully choose each component that best suits their products to meet their promise for excellence. And all of their products are designed and tested for quality assurance by their staff in Salt Lake City, Utah. New to the Magnum's 2021-22 uh, lineup, the Nomad is a powerful fat tire bike with a robust step-through frame that provides uh, excellent standover clearance for a variety of uh, rider heights. The Nomad is built for trail riding and weekend adventures. So let's go ahead and start at the front and work our way back. Now what really impresses me is the 26 inch wheel uh, that comes on the Nomad. I have ridden other electric bikes, but they come in the 20 inch tires and it was okay, um, especially if uh, for the lightweight use, but the 20, I wanted something that was a full size mountain bike type uh, platform. And the Nomad comes with the 26 inch wheel and the tires on this are pretty beefy. They're four inch tires. And I took it out for a ride and I was really impressed on the comfort of the, the tires itself. The Nomad also comes with front and rear fenders. Uh, these are plastic fenders to help save weight. 
Uh, the bike is already about 65, 70 pounds. So it's a, it's not a lightweight bike, but it's a uh, pretty sturdy, stout bike that can handle, you know, gravel, dirt, road, or even snow. And I, until it snows here, I'll probably do some snow riding in the winter. Now mounted to the plastic frame is a LED light, which you can control from the controls on the top. And we'll go over that in a little bit. If you look here in the front, you have a pretty stout shock. And this is the ABS shock. And you can lock it out depending on the kind of terrain you want. So basically you can uh, add softness or de decrease uh, softness, or I should say the, the damper. And then of course you have your connection for your light, which I haven't plugged in yet. The front of the frame, yeah, basically on the head tube, you have four Allen head bolts. And this is so you can mount the additional um, components like a rack, front rack if you desire so. But uh, it gives you the option to uh, mount it here. The Nomad comes with a seven speed Shimano uh, shifter. It's SIS index, meaning you can adjust it by how easy you want it or how hard you want it, uh, depending on your levels of gears. It does also come with a Logan brake levers and brake sets to match the disc. And they also have very nice looking leather grips on both sides, as well as the throttle. On the left side, you do have your controller. Uh, this controller here operates uh, your LCD screen and also your pedal assist, whether you wanna increase or decrease. And we'll go ahead and turn that on here in a little bit but uh, you still get the leather grips on the left side as well. Now here on the left hand side, you do have your different levels of pedal assist. So right now in the um, very first bottom here, we have uh, passive. So we have no power. It's all human uh, crank pedal mode. Uh, next one is your eco. And then we have your tour, your sport, turbo, and then boost, which is 1000 watts of that motor putting out. So um, those are your level of assist. You do have a trip meter on here. So since I've got the bike, I put on three miles and we're gonna increase that. And then of course you have your clock. Now you do have some options to go in and change some settings, but as from the factory and Magnum bikes, everything's set up right now, which you don't even have to mess with it. Now we're going to move on to the stem. The cool thing about the Nomad or all most of Magnum bicycles that everything's adjustable. So by loosening this bolt and a bolt under here, I am able to adjust the stem down or up um, for comfort or adjustability. So the adjustable stem really comes in handy. Now Magnum bicycles comes with a really cool um, design to unlock and remove your battery. Now the battery weighs 10, 10 pounds and basically you do have two keys and these keys are made so you can go ahead and unlock the battery. You're going to remove this handle here and the battery comes out. Now the battery weighs about 10 pounds so it's fairly heavy. You have the option to charge the battery um, outside of the bike, or you can have it pretty much uh, installed in the bike. And then to put it back, you just go ahead and set it down in there. You can use the handle and your battery's locked in place. You can also check your battery levels um, outside of the bike, or you can check it while it's installed by pressing this power button and you will have four LED lights that uh, light up. I don't know if you guys can see that. And right now it's showing full charge. Now, if you wanna stay hydrated, you have the option to mount a water bottle cage here on the top, or you can carry a, a back pannier or a back uh, storage bag. And I'll show you one that I'm gonna install on here uh, to carry your water or gear. Now, as we move back, uh, the seat here is pretty comfortable and it is adjustable either front or back. And you also have a quick disconnect 
This is a Promax uh, seat, and you can adjust the seat uh, depending on how uh, tall you are. And um, it just locks in place with the quick disconnect. So um, many other bicycle companies, the seats are very uncomfortable, but uh, this one right here is made of uh, some really good leather and it's got real good cushion. So uh, I'm happy for that. Now underneath the bike, you do have a kickstand and because the bike weighs a lot, they integrated this kickstand underneath the bike and basically you just lift up on the handle in the back and put the kickstand up uh, to install. It's sort of like a motorcycle <laughs> kickstand. You just put it down and pull the bike up. So it's a pretty uh, solid uh, stand and it, it mounts high in clearance so you don't have a lot of uh, clearance issues on that. Pedals here are made by Welgo and they're not folding pedals uh, because this bike is not a um, foldable bike. Um, so if you decide you're gonna do some transporting, you wanna make sure you get a good bicycle rack that can accommodate four inch tires and handle the weight. Now the cranks uh, shaft here or the cranks that's installed on there, like I said, it's a single gear. Um, it's not a dual chain ring, so single chain ring, and it's 170 millimeters with a uh, regular sealed type cartridge bottom bracket. And the chain is made by KMC, and I used to do a lot of bicycle racing, and I had KMC chains on all my bicycles. Uh, They're just a really good chain, uh, strong, and um, had no issues. I've never broken a, a KMC chain uh, while racing or riding my bicycle. The rear derailleur is made by Shimano. It's the Shimano Altus and it's a seven speed. So um, you do have the adjustable seven gears in the back. You do have a really cool uh, derailleur protector to keep uh, the derailleur uh, protected in case the bike falls over or you crash on the bike, uh, you won't bend a derailleur. Now the thing with derailleurs, if you look in the back over here, the derailleur hanger, um, those are made by a softer material than the frame. Um, that is because if you do fall and bend a derailleur, these are designed to break off and that you can change a derailleur hanger by using that bolt here and these two Allen heads on the top. We're gonna to move up to the rear hub. And this rear hub is made by Bafang. And it's a company I believe sourced out of overseas, but most of the electric bikes have a Bafang uh, motor or hub. Now this hub um, is a 750 watts hub. And at max, uh, max capacity, you're talking about uh, 1,000 watts. So, you know, they could propel this bike from, you know, pretty much 10 miles an hour to 28 miles an hour with pedal assist, but it's a smooth, smooth hub. Um, you know, it, it just glides through and it's not loud. And um, I took it out for a little bit and um, it's pretty quiet for, uh, for the size of tires and uh, the weight of the bicycle. Now the rear um, brakes are also uh, disc brakes. They're uh, 130 millimeter disc brakes made by Logan. And they stop pretty good. They stop on a dime. Um, and the reason why disc brakes are so popular is because the conventional cantilever uh, brakes would get caked up with mud uh, if you rode off road. Uh, with the disc brakes, uh, you're able to, uh, you know, you can either wipe off the mud or uh, it won't sling mud uh, on the on the brake pad. Now we're going to move on to the rack. Uh, the rack on here is a pretty sturdy uh, rack. It has four mounting points um, to mount, so you can either take it on or off. You got one here, two there, three and four on the other side. It does come with... Um, some bungee cords already installed on there. Um, I am going to install a, a little pannier rack or a uh, 
cargo rack uh, to keep, you know, my camera equipment or other items while I'll uh, be filming or just getting outdoors. Now the back of the seat has a really uh, cool handle where you can use that handle to hold, uh, lift up on the bike and, you know, put the kickstand up or just moving the bike around. Uh, the handle is integrated. It's a plastic mold integrated into the seat and uh, it does not adjust, but uh, you can use that to uh, move the bicycle around. Now the back of the uh, rack has a mounted LED light and um, hit the brakes, it automatically uh, starts blinking. So hit the brakes and it warns uh, people behind you that uh, you're slowing down. Now, if you decide to purchase a Magnum bicycle, regardless if you get the Nomad or any other um, model number, when you receive that bicycle and you first open the box, uh, you will see the sturdiness and how stout and great quality components uh, this bicycle company uses. Like I said, I've only ridden for a couple miles, but so far it has been fun and it handles great. Um, in dirt. Um, the four inch tires uh, are great um, off road because of the stability. There is about 35 PSI in these tires. So you can go lower if you want a little bit more grip. But this bike will, it's a great utility, utility bike. I mean, you could use it for loading up with fishing um, gear. You can load it up with uh, your camera gear, camping gear, or just to go out for the day and just tool around the city. Um, I highly recommend if you do go in the city or use it for commuting, buy yourself a decent lock uh, for that. Um, because, you know, um, you never know what kind of thieves are, are lurking out there. If you're looking to get a Magnum electric bike, I highly recommend you giving the customer service a call and go into their website at magnumbikes.com and uh, check out the models uh, that they have and then you know, give customer service a call and they can guide you in the right direction. Um, the Nomad uh, comes in white, black, green, and I believe tan, but right now there are limited um, because of the popularity of this model. Um, it has, uh, there, there are only a few colors left and I'm sure they'll get more in, but be sure to check out the website before uh, um, you decide you want to get an electric bike. Their customer service are friendly. They pick up the phone when you call. They answer your messages and emails. So that right there tells me a lot that the company uh, believes in their product. So if you're interested of in getting a bicycle, from Magnum. Um, I will post a, a link in the description box below. We are also an affiliate, so we may be able to get you a slight discount. Um, also, they believe in first responders. Military um, also get a discount on their military and first responders. So overall, a great company based in the U.S. in Utah um, and great customer service. Now, the retail price of the Nomad is a little bit over $2,000, but for the quality and what you're getting, um, I highly recommend it. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching um, and thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that bottom right hand of your screen and become a subscriber. And uh, and then hit the bell notification icon and hit all notifications. And you'll be notified of all new videos that, that I put out. And I've been trying to pump out three videos a week for you because uh, there's so many stuff out there, so many equipment, so many gear. And I want you guys to have at least the knowledge and the um, opportunity to see what I think. Now, we're going to be taking this with us with our, our camper here in the fall and we look forward to it so um, if you've got any questions if you ride an e-bike go let, let me know what you like about it or if you decide you want to get an e-bike pop your comments down below and i'll uh, go ahead and i'll go ahead and uh, answer them the best i can so anyway 
Thanks for watching, and we appreciate you guys joining us on the Semper Gumby channel. Until next time, it's electric and Semper Gumby out.